here at the spillway. I bet there's got to be some pretty good bass in this little pit back here, though. Let's see if I can't do something epic. This could be totally dumb or totally awesome. About two and a half. How about that guy right there? Yanked him up the spillway. That's what I'm talking about. That is nuts. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are on a creek mission today. So I've got, got my main man, Chris, back here. We're on the kayaks. We are going to a very remote lake. We've been to it once before. A couple of you guys that are subscribers that are local told us about this lake. And we fished it, was it like winter time? I think it was like, it was very close to winter. Like the bite was turning off. Um, but we kept telling ourselves we got to come back here during the summer. Um, there's a lot of flowing water. It should be cool in the summer. They should be biting. So we're going to see if we can't get on that bite. Uh, there's a creek. It's a mile paddle in. So we've got a we got a good little paddle ahead of us to get in and we've got a paddle to get back out. But uh, we're going to try to do a little bit of creek fishing on the way as well as on the way back. And then once we get to that lake, we're hoping to uh, hopefully get on some good bass. I mean, I've heard there are good bass in there. When we were out here in the winter, we all only all we got was little ones. but. We're gonna try, I've got four rods rigged up. We're in the kayaks. Chris, you've got, looks like four rods. You guys hang tight. Let's uh, get in the kayaks and let's start our way into the lake. Let's go. A couple places up here that we know we'd have to take the rods down behind me. So I'm just gonna have them sit nice and cozy right there. But anyway, we're gonna start our paddle here and we're gonna get in there and hopefully land us a few fishies. If we catch any on the way, we'll obviously be sure to film those and I just ran aground, great. Let's get out our old cranky crank. We've probably been out here, folks, for about, I don't know. We're almost at the lake, so we paddled almost a mile. But I'm gonna throw this old crankbait in this little area, because I think, I think the lake is like right around that corner. So we're pretty much here. All right, we have arrived. Opens up and we're in a little bit of a lake. There's actually a dam at the very back part of that lake too. Got a little like spillway dam that I kind of want to get around. A lot of trees and stuff at that dam. A lot of moving water. First one on. Oh, he got, no, he's still on. Let's get him over here. Ah. All right. Yeah, that's not too bad. Close to a two. Woo, how about that guy right there? Nice little, close to a, I'd say he's close to a two. I don't have a scale with me, because you know, I'm a good kayak angler, I don't carry scales. Got him on the Mondo Shad crankbait, Guggen Squad, awesome. All right, little buddy, thank you for the bite. And there he goes, back to the dips. Sweet, all right, first one on the board, and we're not even actually to the lake yet. That's what I'm talking about. Got one. Finally. He's a nice one. That's a nice one there. He's probably two pounds. Alright, we're gonna let you go. Alright, time to put the crankbait up. We're back here at the spillway dam area. It's pretty good. I mean you can see by the tops of the trees. It's pretty good little distance down. I'm gonna start out with the worm. See if we can't worm around some of this timber. Yeah, I'm gonna ride it, see what happens. I bet there's gotta be some pretty good bass in this little pit back here though. So. Oh yeah. Are there? Let's see if I can't do something epic. This 
could be totally dumb or totally awesome. Either way, we're going to send it. Yeah. He ain't big, but he, I got a fish. Yanked him up the spillway. That's what I'm talking about. That is nuts right there. I think I'm going to move him back up here. Oh, or maybe not. Go. Live, buddy. Bigger pond, maybe, even though I kick you in the face. That was freaking sweet. That was like my second cast. All right, let's get back in there. We're in the juice over here, boys. Oh, I got one on. Got another one. This is a little spot. They're not giant, but there's there's down there. There's tons of them. Buddy, look at you. Little bitty spotted bass on look at the worm. The worm's longer than he is. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna let you go over here. Awesome. Ah, oh, I had another one. Oh no. They're little. They just gotta be little. All right, I've gotta call it. I, I can't mess with these little guys anymore. Maybe we can go get a couple more big ones out of the big lake behind me. And now I've gotta figure out a way to precariously get myself back on that kayak. Definitely something you don't do every day. Oh, whew. Can I make it? All right, so this thing is somewhat solid jesus help me ah. get you back in there worms are back in place ah. nimble as a cat there we go we lived all right chris so we're back at the like the opening of the lake where the creek feeds into it. Yeah. I think you've done plenty of damage on your crankbait. I mean, how many fish have you had? Know, 10, I think. 10? You really think it was 10? Yeah. I'll have to roll back the footage. Baby bass. About two and a half. <sighs> I had you about six or seven. I only got three that were on camera. I had about 50 that were off camera. You know, my GoPro was overheating. I mean, I was catching them like crazy. That camera wasn't working either. So I've got no evidence. You're just gonna have to trust me. But I got about, I don't know, 50, 50, 100, 50, 100 fish. It was about 50, 100. And um, I mean, I don't know. The smallest one was probably 12 pounds. You know, nothing crazy big, you know, just, you know, in that range. I did catch the one uh, on the uh, Catch Co. Guggen Squad crank. Uh, Chris was murdering them on the Bandit, and I made a late switch to the Bandit, but just because I wanted to be a little bit different, and I paid for it, I switched to the uh, Red Crawl Bandit. But the coolest part is we got bit at the spillway. That was that was pretty crazy. I've never fished 50 foot above something and reeled them in. Like Even though they were little, I don't know what they would have done if they were like two pounds. But we're gonna start heading that way. We're gonna fish a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna get bit or not, but we're gonna we're gonna go to the extraction point. If we were on what, what show is that? Has that the extraction point? Naked and afraid. Chris, we should do naked and afraid version of fishing one day. That'd be awesome. I think I got one. Hey, he's not bad, bud. Am I recording? He came off. Dang! I had to look at the camera, and make sure I was recording. He came off. He didn't. He wasn't a bad looking fish. All right, well, that's gonna be the last of this little adventure. We're gonna put everything up and paddle, paddle our way out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's fishing mission. And uh, Chris, you you absolutely tore him up on the old bandit. You got like six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. I don't know, you hooked a bunch. 
Chris definitely got on a good mess of fish. I got on one decent one, hooked one there at the very end. But the most the most awesome thing of the day was catching catching them over 50 foot of spillway. Like just even though they were small, it was just crazy. I was just like, there's got to be fish in there, and I need to find a way to get up there. And sure enough, we did, and we caught some. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the uh, ding dong notification so be notified anytime I drop a new video. Uh, me and Chris are going to figure out somewhere else to go. We, we, we're going to go somewhere else in the next video. I don't know where, but we're going to be somewhere. It'll be in the water, I bet. I, I, you know what? That's a dang good suggestion. If you have any other suggestions on where to catch fish, uh, let us know in the comments because we need you leaving comments too on what you thought about this. It's fishing over the spillway. Crazy. As well as the bandit crankbait putting on another clinic. And uh, as always, hit the like button. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later, guys.